His new science advisor keeps coming back like a boomerang, Francis Collins. Let's uh, slip some inconvenient info about the vaccines. Watch. I think humility is appropriate also in talking about the vaccines. Yes, we were quite confident that the results of the phase three trials were very clear. But of course, we found out later that there were rare events uh, in the case of the mRNA vaccines uh, of uh, pericarditis, myocarditis, really rare uh, side effects that could in fact be significant. Dr. McCullough, he keeps saying they're rare. Um, what does the data say? The correct term to use in uh, safety data research is called tip of the iceberg because we don't check everybody for the problem. This comes through spontaneous reporting. So back when the CDC and FDA looked at 200 cases of myocarditis, they said it was both rare and mild. I said just the opposite. It was tip of the iceberg and severe since 90 percent of the kids were being hospitalized with this. Fast forward to today in our U.S. CDC VAERS system, we have over 30,000 cases of myopericarditis. Reports from Shower, from Trong and others suggest still at least two thirds are still being hospitalized. And the most alarming thing is when an MRI is done, in fact, heart damage is being seen in nearly every case of vaccine-induced myocarditis. Dr. McCullough, it's great to see you as always.